what it look when you look at the Sixers right now, what I'm not getting is what I got in the early days. And we're only what nine games into this, but what we didn't get in the early days of James Harden. And we didn't get that sniper. We didn't get that uh, guy who has a lot of confidence in his shot. We haven't gotten that recently. And last night he was something like one for six from beyond the arc. And still, multiple occasions where I see James Harden, they talked about this after the game where he needs to be more aggressive, but multiple occasions in the game last night, again, where James Harden either got a screen and was open to shoot and did it, or created his own space. And instead of immediately popping the shot when he had space to shoot, he waited and deferred to make the play for a teammate. Now, in the early days of this, you're thinking, all right, that's great couple of games into it. Hey, look, he's not selfish. He's trying to get his other teammates points. That's great. But when you'd like to get your offense going again, like in the third quarter, for instance, and you're only scoring 13 points as a team, that's where you want Joel Embiid. That's where you want Tyrese Maxey. And of course, yes, that's where you want James Harden creating his own shot and then taking advantage of that space instead of deferring to a, a lesser teammate, so to speak. And last night in the third quarter, I saw that a number of times. A number of times. Fourth quarter, I saw that a number of times. He started to be a little bit more aggressive by going to the rim, finishing at the rim, going to the line, trying to convert the three-point play. He ended up with 21 points, so that looks great on the stat line. But when it comes to the overall flow of the game, I, for the life of me, I can't think of too many former MVPs that have created that much space for themselves and then deferred to pass off to a teammate. Like the whole point of getting open and creating that space is to get that shot off. And instead of James Harden doing that, he is still very much deferring to his teammates. Tyrese Maxey talked about it last night after the game where he just said James Harden's trying to set us all up and be that playmaker. James Harden talked about it last night where he said he needs to be that playmaker and then also find his times to be aggressive. Third quarter when everybody else is struggling, that'd be a time to be aggressive. Fourth quarter when you're still not putting the wheels back on the race car, that might be a time to, to do that again. And Doc Rivers said going into the game last night that James Harden needs to be more aggressive. I, I'm not seeing that from James Harden. I'm seeing James Harden get 20 points by struggling from the three-point line, struggling from the floor, but ultimately going to the line to get points that way. Uh, for me, that's not going to cut it going into the playoffs. Six so like, what, 14 games left in the season? Whatever the better brand of basketball is, I want to see that going into the playoffs a lot more than what we saw last night. And I hate being the stick in the mud when it comes to uh, winning and then still critiquing. And the famous quote, I've referenced it before with Mike Schmidt, uh, the joy of reading and the, or, excuse, I always mess it up. The joy of victory and the agony of reading about it the next day in the paper. That's Philadelphia for an athlete. Well, we're not going to look at the Cleveland Cavaliers as a team you're going to go up against as a championship caliber team. So what we do is we look at those teams that aren't the Nets, for instance. We look at those teams that aren't the Heat. We look at those teams that aren't the Bucks, for instance. And we go, all right, this is what the Sixers did against those lesser non-top three teams. How would they fare if they played this way against the Nets, against the Heat, against the Bucks? And I'll tell you what they would happen. They would lose. So it's not just about playing who's in front of you that given night. It's about taking that performance and saying, well, they can't get away with that when they play against those other three teams. And that's, you think they're going to survive if they score 13 points against the Heat? You think they're going to survive if they score 13 points against the Bucks? And certainly not the Nets, not playoff Nets, not on the road playoff Nets where they actually have Kyrie. That ain't happening.